It's me, Shelly. Open the door. Parker, come on. It's after 11. 11.14, Shell. Way after curfew. Very funny, Park. Now let me in. If Mom and Dad wake up, I'm grounded. Oh, you're right, Shelly. Let's not wake them up. Oh. Park, come on! Broken. Caged. Busted. Phew. Who had the garlic bagel? Your transcript shows an incomplete in botany. <laughs> oh, I love it, love it, love it. You see, Lewis, without this credit, you can't be promoted. Business as usual. Musso plays the overbearing principal and busts me for something trivial. I play the student victim and finesse my way out. Not a problem. <laughs> so, unless you want to stay back a year, you're going to summer school. <laughs> the unearthing of the 1970 time capsule. Great. But I have bigger things on my mind. Look, get a grip, Park. Summer school isn't for months. We'll beat this. Good news, sirs. The summer school menu now includes grape Kool-Aid. Jerry, don't help. Hide the chicks, it's the old man. Just when I need in the middle of a crisis, Dad trying to act cool. I thought you guys might get a laugh out of seeing this. Is that a hairpiece or did a cat die on my dad's head? <laughs> Dad, where'd you dig up that thing? The, uh, the, the cedar closet. It's a picture of Musso from when we went to school together. Whoa, the eyes sort of follow you. Exactly when did you graduate our fine school, Mr. Mr. Lewis? 1970. I'll never forget that year. The parties, the music, the Camaro Z28. But wasn't 1970 all about Nam, Ken State, racial tension? <laughs> yeah. I I believe that may have been a part of it, yes. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll catch you guys later, huh? <laughs> Park, dinner in 10 minutes. Found your time capsule, Mr. Lemmer. Summer school. Musso just wants to show me she's boss. To prove she's queen bee and I'm a drone. That she can reduce me to groveling. Well, guess what? She can. never seen anyone brownie up with the energy, enthusiasm, and raw abandon you have so shamelessly exhibited. Then you'll sign the release for my botany final? <laughs> Not a chance. A coupon like this you don't call in over carnuba wax. Groveler's rule number one, never try to talk to a woman while she's picking out shoes for her high school reunion. No, Lewis. I figure hanging something like this over your head is worth a good semester, maybe two of no headaches from you. 
But, Miss Musso... I'm too busy to argue. 300 of my idiot classmates are coming here in a few days, and I want to look perfect for them. What the... Had the guys over last night, had some popcorn, had two choices. Either throw it away, or... <laughs> Don't you ever embarrass a woman like that. Never, never, never. Miss Musa, we were just playing a joke, a little prank. It prank? Was... Oh, for God's sake, this isn't totally hidden video. Maybe no, maybe yes. You listen to me. Certain pranks should never be perpetrated by one human being against another. <laughs> hate it when I do that. 20 years ago, there was a, a girl at this school, sweet, obedient girl, who one night was the victim of a cruelly humiliating public prank. A prank so unspeakable that it has scarred that girl to this day. There isn't a night I lay my head on my pillow that I don't dream of taking savage revenge against whoever it was who did that to me. Mental note, rethink Operation Will Be Cushion. <laughs> 20 years and she's still out for blood. I wouldn't want to be the one who pulled that prank. Especially when I find out who it is. Coolness Park. Sir, are you saying you would stoop to bounty hunting some poor former classmate of Miss Musso's and deliver his head to her in exchange for your selfish need to avoid summer school? Yes. Trey Foxy, sir. Got it, Mr. Lewis. May 12th, 1970. Hmm. Senior Grace Musso was the butt of an elaborate prank Friday when an unknown assailant showered her with 60 gallons of lime jello. <whistles> Musso, student aide to Principal Howard Fine, was policing hemlines with a ruler when the sliming took place. Oh, 60 gallons of jello. Greetings, flamingos. This is Grace Musso. Let me extend a hearty welcome to all my classmates returning to campus today for the 1970 class reunion. This is a rare opportunity for yesterday's flamingos to meet the flamingos of today. over to Dr. Frankenstein? <laughs> Actually, Randall, I am charged with delivering the recently unearthed 1970 time capsule to Miss Musso for tonight's banquet. Sealed inside are the hopes and dreams of a generation 20 years past. It is something to be revered, cherished, and worshipped. Lunch! Hey. My worst fear is realized. Dad wants to hang. Hey, boys. Say hi to my best buddies, Vic and Gary. Dad's talked for years about his pals. You see pictures, but nothing prepares you for the real thing. Nice coat, Mr. Gary. <clears throat> Yours, too. Scotch guarded? Twice monthly, sir. So, you guys were dangerous dudes, huh? Were. Are. We were born to be wild. We were inseparable. We were rowdies. We were... The, the Mod Squad! Squad. <laughs> Later, dudes. Must be hell to get old. Flamingos. Banquet night. I'd like to think I have better things to do than listen to a relentless barrage of Tony Orlando oldies. I'd like to think I do, but I don't. Tonight, I'm on a mission. Some very spicy conversations, sirs. 
Yeah, if you like hearing about miracle diets and real estate, it's worse than cable access. Stay tough, guys. Sooner or later, we'll find out who slimed Musso. Attention, please, everybody! Attention! <laughs> Now, I'd like to call your attention to a mistake in the program for this evening. The gala opening of the time capsule will occur after dinner, not, I repeat, not during the moment of silence for the Franklin twins. Thank you. Hey, bud, what mm -hmm. shakes? I cannot wait to see Musso's face when she pulls out Eric Duffy's appendix. <laughs> you really did that? You put Duffy's appendix in the time capsule? Oh, yeah. What are you stuck in the tape? <laughs> tape? Yeah. yeah, the tape, Marty. The cassette we made Raz and Musso after we limed jello at her. <laughs> that tape's in there? <laughs> you mean tonight Musso's gonna find out we're the ones who did it? Wow, your own dad, Slime Musso, he's road pizza. Excuse me for pointing this out, sir, but wouldn't that make you road pizza too? Sir? Sir? For 20 years, the Class of 1970 time capsule has been buried under the Santo Domingo Flamingo end zone. Safe, quiet, not bothering anybody. Now, after five presidents, three popes, and the advent of the home shopping network, its ghastly secret is going to be revealed and ruin me. Or am I blowing this out of proportion? But Grace, it wasn't me! Oh, you can play the innocent all you like, Bronk Adelson. But I know it was you! I don't have proof yet, but when I do, I'm gonna ruin you, Bronk! Do you hear me? Ruin, ruin, ruin. OK, so I'm not blowing this out of proportion. Sir, I've got an uncle at the Justice Department who can change your identity and relocate your entire family. Don't get mad at me, Marty. We all thought that confession tape was pretty funny when we made it. Let's Goose the Moose was your exact quote at the time, sir. Gary, don't help. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wendy? No. Gloria? No. Looks like Mom's having about as good a time as I am. Kubiak. Hey, what's the deal, Lemmer? We just want to look at the time capsule. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to steal it or anything. I'm establishing a perimeter. No one gets near this time capsule. Isn't that right, Lawrence? Nobody. Eat now? Emergency strategy meeting in three minutes. Regrouping, sir? The war room. Three minutes from now. Situation? We can't snag the time capsule if Mr. Kubiak is guarding it. Prognosis? We have 15 minutes until Musso puts you in permanent summer school. Recommendation? They're doing marvelous things with plastic surgery, sir. I know. Jerry, don't help. Park, look, maybe you should just get with your dad. I mean, if he was cool enough to slime Musso in the first place, maybe he has an idea on how to get the capsule. Did Mikey actually say cool and my dad in the same breath? Well, maybe he was cool once, but... No go, Mikey. Times change. Dad and his pals got lucky, but that was 20 years ago. Now it's up to us. Gentlemen, synchronized swatches. It's Operation Time Bomb. What does he mean by lucky? He pulled out plenty of gags. I'm thinking Halloween 69. We snuck into Fine's office, put that beef tongue in his drawer. Gary, if I recall, you got us locked in. Mr. Fine called our parents, and we spent the semester scraping gum from under desks with a putty knife. Well, those were the days. 
I don't know, maybe Parker's right. Of course, I could never tell him this because it would go straight to his head. You know teenagers. But that kid is so smart, so aware of the world. He's way ahead of me when I was his age. Oh, he's way ahead of you now. But I wouldn't leave it to him to get the capsule. Gentlemen, synchronize both of us. It's Operation Time Warp. Guys, we pull the plug in exactly 30 seconds. Where the heck is he? Here. Perfect timing, Gary. You should work for NASA. I do. Eleven, ten, nine. What the? Mikey, let's go. What happened, Jerry? Get an itchy trigger finger? Come on, Park, let's get out of here. I don't want to get caught with this thing. I don't have it. Well, I don't have it. I don't have it. It's gone. The time capsule's history. Attention, everybody! It's time for the opening of the time capsule! achieved dead meatness. Hey, Park, look, it's cool. There's no way she's gonna get that lid off. <laughs> we can be in Mexico by morning. It's empty. I say thank you, Lord. <laughs> I miss my nap. Just kidding. <laughs> Very well. Under oh! the jets or in the boxes, and the clouds all go to bed. You can hear happiness standing on down the street. Just one item remaining. Hey, I've been looking for this for a long time. Yeah. That's it, everybody. you're trying to help anyway. Not a problem. We're just lucky that tape wasn't in there. Son, luck is the residue of design. Dad. Pizza? How would you... Right over here. Thanks. Well, 
Well, well, Marty. I didn't see much of you at the party tonight. Oh, I was with my buds. Killing, killing time. time. <laughs> <laughs> my loss, I'm sure. Ciao. Right, Miss Musso? Yes, 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 I'm fine. Leave me alone. Oh, and Lewis? Parker. Thank you. And, and see me in my office on Monday morning. I believe I have a paper of yours to sign. Not a problem. Didn't you just eat 60 pizzas? There's always room for jello. I wonder who did that to her. You mean Musso Summer School Rescue Plan A? Ask me again in 20 years. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, come on, Dad. <laughs> you know, it's hard to visualize how my dad was at my age. But seeing him in action here tonight, well, I can not only visualize it, I can feel it. He was smart, fun, a little scared, and in the end, kind of cool. What can I say? It's in the blood. Coolness. Ah! Take that, Parker. <laughs> you okay, Grandma? I think that was meant for me. <gasps> Mr. Randall? Mr. Phillips? Hello? Hey.